Hey guys, it's Rob Sipek with Paperless Student. In today's video, I will talk to you guys about the wrong way of using Notability and I will look at the changes they've made to the app's web clipper, the web clipping tool. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe if you're looking for a solution to go paperless with your studies or your business. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you turn on your notifications so you know when I release a new video. I have spent hours trying to make videos on how to use Notability. It's never occurred to me to do a video on how not to use Notability. A good app is as good as the user. If you know how to use an application, naturally you get more out of it. And if you don't know how to use the application, you'll just think that it's a horrible application. Notability is primarily a handwriting note-taking application. You have to handwrite your notes, not type them. When typing in Notability, the text changes the lines in your application. This affects your handwriting because these are fixed in the page on the application. However, your text is not fixed. It's not fixed on the page. So if you type your notes, you risk messing up all the other fixed parts of the notes. So if I was to type something or some handwriting below it, if I type something above, it will overlap onto my handwritten section. And this is really important if you are someone who keeps going back to your earlier pages of your notes and you keep on adding more information to your notes, this is very, very important. It is better for you to handwrite your notes in Notability. Typing notes is not the right way to use Notability. If you want to type your notes, use applications that take type notes, WriteMapper, Notion, Microsoft Word, Bear, Noted. All of those are great note-taking applications that actually focus on text and typing. So why not just use those? I type all my headings. One thing you've probably never paid much attention to is the fact that my topics are always in a sticky note. A typed sticky note has a fixed area on the page depending on how you adjust it. And if you make any changes above or below your notes, if your typed sections are in a sticky note, then they won't move. So if for whatever reason you feel you need to add typed notes in your notability, you are best doing it with a sticky note and not directly onto the page. You can make the sticky note as small as a card on a page or as large as the page itself. It doesn't matter. As long as it is fixed in a sticky note, it will remain fixed where you place it and you will not have a problem with your text overlapping into your notes or your diagrams. The next thing I want to talk about on this video is the web clipper in Notability. This is how I feel about it. In my opinion, it's changed for the worst. The whole point of having this feature in the application was so I don't have to leave the application. Now I have to drag and drop a web page from Safari. I wish Notability could just stop fixing things that are not broken. I really dislike the changes they've made to this tool because this drag and drop feature, it kind of defeats the whole purpose of having a web browser within the application. So I could officially say that Notability now no longer has a web browser within the application. I also dislike the fact that the application automatically links me to wikipedia if they're going to redirect me to safari can i at least pick my landing page the copy and paste option is not working it just saves the link and it doesn't actually clip the page so maybe they still have to work on that but the drag and drop feature is working and i i don't like it for those of you guys that have been asking me about eye strain, I was unable to do a video on it for technical reasons. I just don't have enough manpower to create the video for you guys. Unfortunately, I can't do it at the moment. I have written an article on it on the website and I will link that in the description down below. For those of you guys that really want to know how I've dealt with eye strain in the past and how I deal with it on a daily basis. And that brings me to the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.